Hi, I'm Marcos Barbosa. I'm a PhD student in the Education and Knowledge Society program in the University of Salamanca, and I'm going to present the paper The Discourse Against the LGBT Community in Social Networks and its Relationship with Hate Crimes in Spain. Uh, in Spain, 91% of the population agrees that homosexual or bisexual people should have the same rights as heterosexual people. Uh, but 41% of the LGBT community suffered any type of harassment due to their condition, and 8% of them suffered some physical or sexual attack in the last five years. Almost 20% of the hate crimes complaints are motivated by victims' sexual orientation, or gender identity. And also more than a half of the Spanish population received offenses or threats on social networks and in the last five years for discriminatory reasons. So the general objective of our research is identify how hate speech against the LGBT population spreads on, hate, on social media in Spain over five years and determine its relationship with hate crimes. Our research is divided in four phases. Uh, the first phase is the systematic literature review and uh, data collect. In phase two, we're going to do a content analysis, a large scale longitudinal analysis of hate speech on social network, it, in this case, the Twitter. Uh, the phase three, it's a checking relation, uh, checking correlations between the negative attitude, the spread of hate speech on social networks and hate crimes against LGBT people. Uh, in the phase four, we're going to do an empirical experiment, uh, a qualitative pilot study by a focus group. Our investigation is now in phase one. We're going to, we're now collecting and reviewing data from official sources and other alternative monitoring sources. Uh, the first experiences with the necessary tools to start the design process of filters and training corpus for data collection with the Twitter API. It's the phase two of our research and we are also doing this part of our work. Our research proposed to verify the hypothesis if violent crimes are predicted by contexts of large scale propagation of hateful sentiments in social networks, focusing our attention on the analysis of hate speech towards LGBT populations in social media. The unpredicted uh, understanding of the phenomenon is important to the development of a social intervention a strategy against the hateful attitude and increases the empathy uh, towards this population, the LGBT population. Once there are evidences that if a group receives a great support by the society, the level of online hate speech is inversely proportional. Thank you.